Thank you, Mark, for a five euro super chat. When I fly behind trees and bushes like max 10 meters, my video gets very shitty. TBS Unify Pro HV, Triumph Pro, etc. cetera. Um, Mark, the first thing that I would do, the TBS Unify Pro has a beep sequence, a blink sequence that it does when it first powers up. It goes one, and it's a certain number of blinks for the channel. And then it goes one, two, and it's a certain number of blinks for the band. And it goes one, two, three, and it's a certain number of blinks for the power. What I would do is I would watch those and read them and make sure that it's actually at max power and not like at min power for some reason. Okay? The other thing I would do is I would make sure it's unlocked. If it's not unlocked, it's not going to go to full power. And I would make sure you've loaded the correct VTX table in Betaflight, because if you load the wrong VTX table, it will put itself down at 25 milliwatts, and then uh, it will it w you won't get good range. Second uh, or third or whatever number, I would make sure it's not in pit mode. And again, refer to the, pro the TBS Unify manual. There's an LED indicator of whether it's in pit mode or not and how to put it in and out of pit mode. If it's in pit mode, you'll get very, very short range. Okay? Those are and the main things be, I would check. Just to be clear, like the, what you were saying there is like, if Betaflight tells you it's 800 milliwatts, that doesn't mean it's 800 milliwatts. That Correct. means Betaflight is trying to tell it it's 800 milliwatts. It may be stuck in pit mode. It may be locked. You know, there may be different issues with the with the VTX. So you need to get them communicating before you could trust that number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's why, so Betaflight could be asking for 800 milliwatts, but if the VTX table is wrong or something is configured wrong, the flight controller, or the VTX could be at 25 milliwatts. That's why I always check the LEDs on the flight control, on the, um, on the video transmitter to be sure. The other thing you can do is disable smart audio in the ports tab, and then using the button on the VTX, manually set it to max power. And again, that's going to be a pain in the ass pushing the button so many times, but that'll assure you you're at max power, and then you could test that. If you're 100% sure that it's at max power, then the next thing to check is the antenna cable and the antenna, right? That's, that's the next thing. 